the day that I'm filming this video, I think this mama rabbit has given birth already. Molly, Olive, stay. You stay. I've already separated the buck because <laughs> I don't want the buck to do any fishy business with those kits. This bunny barn's going up pretty easy. Since getting rabbits early on in the spring this year, it's been kind of fun. I don't really have any experience with rabbits at all, but I've been learning a lot as I go. Since I don't really have any proper place to keep the rabbits, I've just been keeping them in our antique barn, but I'm hoping to have this bunny barn ready by the end of this video to house the rabbits inside this barn. Now let me just give you a little tour of this little bunny barn. Obviously that's my door. I've already put the plexiglass and I've put caulking all around the trim there to make sure no water gets in. It's not a fancy window, just plexiglass, just so that some sunlight can get inside so they're not necessarily in the dark all the time. I wanna have two stalls in here. One stall is gonna be a big size that'll basically keep the rabbits out of the weather. And another stall over here will be just a smaller stall and that'll be used for the buck to get out of the weather and as a nursery room for the mother with the young babies. You can see I've just used a barn board type of siding and I still have to put the battens on because there's a lot of cracks in between. After finishing the framing of the walls, I moved on to installing the roof trusses. I installed some slats on the exterior of the wall framing and that's what I used to attach the barn board. The barn board is a 12 inch rough pine board and it should age very nicely. I do like to take the added step of installing all of these boards with screws and not nails. I always find nails eventually rust or pull out. So I use screws to give it a nice snug fit. After the roof trusses, I put on those four by eight very heavy sheets of plywood for the roof. And then I used an asphalt shingle. What'd you get, Dexter? Chunk! He's a sweet fella. Scratching an inch. Now what good is a bunny barn without a front door? I decided to use a pressure treated brown, that way it's slightly off color. This little area here is turning into some kind of a little 
village, you know, because we have the custom chicken house, the custom duck house, the custom rabbit barn, and of course we have the cat house down there with the catio on the back. So it's kind of all in this little area right here. Hey Maggie. Who's in the hammock? Is that you, Dexter? Hey, buddy. You're sleeping? Sorry, buddy. Sorry to wake ya. I'm just using a bunch of the off cuts to frame in one of the bunny stalls. I'm just wiring in the light above this stall. I need to get the mama rabbit with her babies into this stall because I need the space in her stall. It's not rocket science to wire these lights, really. It's just a black wire and a white wire. But I don't want to have to come in and do this wiring when the mama rabbit is in here with the babies. I'll get the rest of the power run later. You can see this is the chew protection that I was talking about. So even though I made this whole stall with wood. I also put this one by one, you know, wire fencing just in case they want to chew. I cut around the outlet there. I cut around the doorway here and I folded it. And I folded it on this side and I folded this piece up. I designed this in such a way that the door is going to open this way and I'll have a little bit of space here to keep the bunny's foods and I'm going to make one shelf here that will allow me to keep one straw bale or hay bale right here so it's easy access. doing I came in to the pen that has the mama and the babies and I can't find the mama and I'm serious I'm looking around and looking around I can't find the mama rabbit I thought at first 
that maybe she was inside here. But nothing. Then I look down there. Look at that white thing. Mama, what are you doing? Get out of there. Get out of there. I don't know how I'm gonna get this girl out. What is she doing tucked under there? There's only like this much space for her to get in there. <laughs> She's like a big mama. <laughs> See the baby bunnies? Oh. See the babies? Be nice. I count five babies all together. I came back in <laughs> and I got my drill because I was going to take off those wood planks so that I could scoop up the mum. And she came out. She's right there. <laughs> I just got to get her in a cage now and take her over to her babies. You okay, mama? You okay? You okay, mama? Here you go. There you go. Out you go. There's your kids over there. Come on, good girl, good girl, mama. See, she's just investigating her new surroundings. She's got a good amount of space in here, but she's got to find her kids because the kids are inside. It's okay, Mama. It's okay. It's okay, Mama. Out. Out. Dexter, you too. Out. Dexter, out. Let's go. Hey, you're not listening, buddy. You're not listening, bud. You got to stay away from those bunny babies. <laughs> he wants them real bad. Real bad. Got to keep this door closed so the cats don't get those babies. <laughs> That's the last thing I want. You okay, mama? You okay, Mama? That's it, guys. I gotta finish the rest of this bunny barn. <laughs> I'm happy with the way it's turning out, though. It's not too shabby, you know? It's really coming together. I'm gonna finish that other stall over the next couple of days, and then I'm gonna start on the run. Fully protected. I got a couple of great ideas 
on how to eliminate their escaping. <laughs> but at least inside that stall, we have true protection. We have weather protection. We have predator protection. Those are all the keys that I checked off on my list, remember? Thanks for watching. You guys take care, okay?